What are you going to do with the opportunities you encounter when you meet people? What do you do with the privilege of meeting good people? You see, that's, you see how it was specific. The privilege of meeting good people. I've met some people and it wasn't a pleasure meeting them. I've met, I've, I know people, you know, this morning on my way to work and I was thinking about this gentleman who passed away. I know people who have left zero impression on me mm. and I speak to them, I talk to them. And in my head, I say, they better not die. And someone asked me, you know, what can you say about this person? I'll just be like, nothing. And I think it would be cold, right? If mm. I said, but it's really true. Like some people are not generous in their spirit. So they honestly live you with nothing, which is not the worst because there are people who meet you and take away from you. Right. You see, so it's, it's not the worst. And in remembrance of this gentleman, uh, this, this gentleman who was, is, is a man and then became our colleague. And we have to remind ourselves that we met a human and I don't know how it, it leaves me outside. You know, just this conversation consistently leaves me outside and I'm almost grateful for it because I can listen to the sorrow and not feel it because I felt sorrow before. And so when I don't have to feel it, I'll, I'm grateful. But you see, I can sorrow with those who sorrow. I can share in their pain and make them make them feel like I'm with them in that misery and in that moment. Because I think it's not just for them, but it's also for me. And I think death, what do you think death brings to mind? Does it bring anything to mind in your view? By the way, Lagos, I'm retaining Vaughn here because, you know, we've been speaking about our colleague and life in general and the cost to stay alive. Now it's expensive to be alive. And I'm not suggesting you die. Vaughn, your microphone is turned off. I'm not asking you to die, but it's getting, it's getting really, really costly being alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Really expensive now. It is truly. <laughs> <laughs> it is truly becoming more expensive. Yes, but when when someone dies, <clears throat> for me, death just sort of just sort of reinforces the 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 fickleness of of human matter, you know, and then sort of reinforces the need to be humble. You know, because at the end of the day, what is man but dust at the end of the day? At the end of the day, the money, the cars, everything, you know, when you die is, is no more, you know. So for me, it is more a reminder that no matter what we do in life, with all the chasing, all the craze for wealth, for fame, for popularity... It just takes a snap. It just takes one unfortunate incident, one illness, you know, one disease to take it all away. You're so accurate. The fickleness of it. Yes. How death reminds you of your own mortality. That's right. Reminds you that, you know, you're just dust. That's right. Death reminds me to just appreciate the life that I have now. No matter how it is, appreciate it and make the most of it while I'm still here. But I don't know whether people understand that. So that's what I have. I, I stop there. I stop to stare in that moment. Like, do people really understand that death happens? And so what that automatically means is that every moment is precious. I think, <clears throat> so I didn't really understand. And I think it happens. People may not really understand until they lose someone. I think that's what happens. And especially when they lose someone dear to them. When it hits close to home, then you really start to appreciate death. You know, for me, it was just a, before my father died, I just saw death as something that would happen to everyone. For some reason, I didn't think it would happen to, you mm -hmm. know, people close to me, my yeah. loved ones, you yeah. know. <clears throat> and so I didn't quite appreciate the, the, the essence of death until it happened. Until well, it like hit close you didn't to appreciate home. The essence of death or the essence of life the when... essence of life and you know death really oh okay, okay yes okay so it was when i lost my father that it dawned on me that truly you know man is just fickle matter that is here today gone tomorrow and what is left i mean if if you even dared to be to do anything with your life mm. is is what you did for the people around you so at the end of the day it is who you touched you know what you did with your time
that speaks for you at the end of the day. Even the speak, even the speaking, because I think we're going to mourn Rotemi Sankore, and we will move on. Yes, we will. And his family will be left with that, and That's even right. they themselves must move on. Mm-hmm. And then. And then he becomes a distant memory. He becomes a distant memory. That's right. He, he becomes a distant memory. And so even... Then the question is, you can't even bank on the memory. Exactly. It's like you the can't. memory is not... You can't. You, you, memory, it's like even that in itself is short-lived. Because people are going to talk <coughs> about you one day. Only the people who are closest to you. Yes. I don't... I have not met anybody tell me about my mom since my mom passed. I'm the only one who keeps talking about my mom. Mm-hmm. Whether to myself or to someone, but the people who came to her funeral to eat probably forgot yeah. already. Yeah, already. You know. So really, it's just that death just reinforces the need to be humble. Just be humble and appreciate the life that you have while you still have it. I, I think death reminds us to be silent, to be introspective, to contemplate death, to remember it. Because what that means is so you're living more purposefully. Right. You're seeking out meaning. You're not in pursuits of the trivialities, the nonsensities of life. Because I think like most of human effort goes into things. Like just yes. think about it. Just acquiring things. Really? Really? That's all acquiring we do. things that's to, to, all to, we do. To, to, to boost your ego, to boost your sense of worth. That's all we do. You know. That's all we do. In fact, there are people who there there are people who can't bring themselves to love someone because they're in pursuit of money beyond that person. So it's mm-hmm. like, well, I want money, mm-hmm. I want fame, I want power. Then they meet a good person, then they trample on them and run them over in pursuit of money. And then you go chasing all the glories of this world. And you're even alive sometimes to the privilege of knowing it's nothing. It's nothing, yes. Like it's nothing. So, you know, last week I was telling the listeners about Ion Mike Tyson. Now, he's alive, and he has the privilege to contemplate his past living and remind himself today that, wait, what did I do with my youth years? But Mm -hmm. that's the only life that he could have found himself in. Mm -hmm. He said he had like 150 fights in the streets. And given his background, he could only emerge into a world where... Okay, so I'm without any other mm-hmm. formal skills. Right. So let me make craft out of being out a of boxer, fighting, you know? Right. So he goes into the business of boxing and he becomes this popular, world known Iron Mike Tyson. And I was watching his interview with Sugar Ray Lennon and he says, arrogance ruined him. That his own ego almost. And it's funny because he admits it. Sugar Ray Lennon admits it. By the way, I want to thank my producers because they've edited that uh, interview for us on the sunny side. So I'm going to be playing it, if not today, maybe next week, this time next week. Because I have some very interesting conversations today for women and for society. But he said, when he was interviewed by CBS, he says, I bled for garbage. So they were pointing at his belts, his awards. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, look at at what, this is history. He says, well, I bled for garbage. He says, well, one time it meant something to me. Now it doesn't mean anything. That's the thing. It's my family and my kids. That's the thing, Joyce, you know. And it, it hurts because oftentimes you don't realize until it's too late that what really matters, what really matters on earth is love is the people that you share that love with you know it's community it's family it's it's because when you're old and you have all of these monies the people that you want to share the monies with don't even care about you because when they needed you you weren't there when they needed you when you they needed there. you weren't there so your children are away all scattered all over the country doing their own thing they have their own children now they don't even want you in their lives or they visit you on a whim not on a whim even they think in fact they just visit you when they have nothing else to do with their time yeah so you are just a you're just a second a, thought a yeah. second thought to them actually maybe even the third because that's a second thought a distant <laughs> thought even <laughs> yeah, really, joyce a distant really. thought because you were not there when 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 you were supposed to you know and honestly i feel i feel we should we should really appreciate <laughs> appreciate what 
let me let me let me buttress what you just said. And death is a crazy thing. You know, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather said that um, uh, this butterfly boxer. Mm. Uh, come on now, what's his name? The popular guy, Muhammad Ali, is not the greatest boxer. So Mike Tyson was asked about what Floyd Mayweather said, and Mike Tyson looked like he wanted to beat Floyd Mayweather for what he said. And, and Mike said, said that Floyd can't even take his kids to school. Just look at that. He says, he, he said, was, was, who's listening to Floyd Mayweather? He can't even take his kids to school. He says that's what it means to be a man. Oh, to have meaning. To have, to have to be something. He says it's to wake up and you take your kids to school. To be a father. You, so it was the way he trivialized the importance that Floyd wanted to extract from who is the world's greatest. Right. And he's like, what was this one? Who's listening to this lunatic? It's like, what it means to be a great man is to take your kids to school. Like you, you, you are there enough present enough that you're, you're something in the life of people. Right. But you know, to me, I didn't even say it's more for me. The first thing is not to aim to be something in the life of someone else. For me, it's more, what are you? And what are you doing? Because if you're doing what is right, that right has a ripple effect. That's right. It could ripple on your enemies. It could right. ripple on your friends, your family, on total strangers. That's really what it is for me. Right. It's like, so who are you? What are you doing with the gifts, with the talents, with the opportunities that you have? So I think it's, um, I even think it's hubristic to say, I want to motivate somebody else. It's like, that's not why you're here. Because if you, if I'm, if I'm a minister of road construction, my work is not to motivate you. That's my work right. is to build, to build the road. roads. Yes. And prevent many accidents you build by roads, building good roads. Go there and do the best road I can, including That's security, right. blah, yes. blah, 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 blah. So that I don't need to know the next man who takes the road. He doesn't yes. owe me gratitude mm -hmm. i mean he can someone can meet me and say oh thank you minister of roads and works for building a good road but he was not the reason i built it i built it because mm -hmm. it was duty for me that's right to build it if i'm minister of education is to go there and give the best education not to wreck the educational system then come by one day and share free textbooks mm. and take children with the destitute or, or, or build a private university exactly you know and take glory and say mm -hmm. i put my name on it that's right you know and, and you say well yeah mm. because i think that i think it's all warped in society it is we suppose that we're here for somebody else that's not why you are here if every man who's here did what he was supposed to do, we could almost bring heaven to earth. We could agree. almost bring heaven to earth. I totally agree, Joyce. Is that, is that you meet a Sankore who would do the best he can, and the man after him is going to do the worst he can. So the next time, the distance between a Sankore and a somebody else who's here to... I'm sure there are people who have made you feel less on your job. Of course, Joyce. There are people who have made you feel <laughs> inadequate. Of course. There are people who have wanted you to kiss their feet. There are people who have wanted you to kiss the ring. That's right. There are people who don't want you to grow for fear that you may <laughs> grow past them. <laughs> and so you can sit back and look at, well, Sankore wasn't like... I mean, all of these... I said all of you are lying, right? Mm. So all of you are here saying, well, he, he would look at you and tell you all the things you could do to make yourself better. He did that. He did and that in this same real. company, I'm sure that there are people who've made you feel less, worse, inadequate, inefficient. If they could, they probably would like you fired. They don't like your face or they don't like your waist. There's something they don't like. Hmm. That so, wasn't Sankori. And you see that. That wasn't Sankori. See? It wasn't, it wasn't hmm. a Sankori. And so today we can talk about how he gave the world his spirit, his passion, his motive, his intellect. We can talk about, all, he didn't come here to, to be like, hey, I'm trying to inspire you. No, it's honestly, I think it's really hubristic. Because if you did your work. He did that. If you did your work, that's all you need to do. Do your work. So the next man can come, continue from where you stopped. Mm -hmm. The man after him can come, the child after him. That's really what we're here to do, to do a very, to put our soul, well, it's not to put your soul out there in a way that, it's to put your soul in your craft. 
it's that you are light and the light should shine. The line is not shining. And radiates on others. Exactly. It shines. It just That's what you are. Light and you come here into the world and you shine. Just shine. And then the world is going to say, oh, wow. Shine because you're supposed to shine. Shine because, because you are supposed to, to shine. Attract attention or try Thank to be you. you know now you're getting my I get point what you're saying. now you're getting just shine. shine because that is what is expected that's of you. that's your condition it's you it's, just a, shine. it's a condition if you are light you shine if you're darkness you bring the dark with you and so to say well i'm shining because i want people to see me yeah i want them to look and say oh such beautiful light you want to be now? A, that's the hubris. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. That's yes. what I see. Yeah. That's yes. that's exactly what I see. That's ex- that's the only thing I see. Sometimes when people come to strut around hmm. their f- their their feathers, they want to show me color, and I'm like, Do you understand these poor tones you bear, these dim lights. You insist must be seen. Hmm. This, do you understand that if your soul isn't beautiful, there's nothing you could nothing do. Nothing you could do, yes. There's nothing. I mean, you could have big grandma. You could have big cars, big money. You could use the best perfume oil because, you know, like, is is like if you have money, you're using oil or a special house scents. And your scent is going to be specially made. It's not going to be like commercial. It's not going to be on a shelf anyway. They just mm. make it for you. So you come out smelling peculiar, fancy, and alone. You look like a promise because your money buys you all the luxury in this world. If your spirit isn't good, this world could not make you look good. I mean, they could try. But your nanny knows you're a demon. And that's the funny thing. You know how people come out and on social media or outside the world. Well, the people who know them know what they truly your are. Your gate man knows that you're in. <laughs> you're, you're, you're no good. <laughs> your side chick knows it. That's right. Your wife knows it. Your kid knows it. But that's the world right. is deceived because they don't know you. Right. And I wonder: Are people afraid to be seen? Like n- I'm not saying see the Vaughn dreads and the chubby cheek and fresh face and mm. like to know the soul the real you. to know the you what would people find i think that's what scares people what would people find mm. when they know you when they look inside of you yeah there used to be this meme on social media the woman when you look at the woman she's so pretty and made up but when she looks in the mirror she's so ugly like she's She's a monster. She's 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 terrifying. But when you see her, she's just beautiful. And so maybe that's really how we are. Some of us. The the us is monstrous. But we come out in a bends. We we sleep in a very why are you opening your eyes? You know someone? <laughs> Joyce! God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, I mean, Lagos is awash with such many people. <laughs> so, well, with many such people. So, I mean, <laughs> it's not even a matter of if I know someone as as it, as much as it is a matter of they um, how many people Lagos. we know. How many? <laughs> how many people we know who are that way how many people oh who we know that, are that way oh I, I think we can honestly say that the world is grateful for humans like rotimi who even though i never knew his person i'd seen his face and i don't even know what his voice sounds like mm. i can i honestly think we never spoke i don't remember a moment i don't even i don't remember what he sounds like when he responded good morning i, I have absolutely no no memory of him and so i can speak of him but not in no manner to suggest that i know him but i guess that those who know him have met something they can say oh we thank god i really hope that they can truly say that oh we thank god that we met a gift as this that's right and then god help them if wrote to me is the best that they've ever known because this world is something it is truly something. But you can look at his life and see the good the good that he has been able to share in this world and demand of yourself the same to be good. Yeah. To be excellent. So as though that's the only duty you have. To be excellent in spirit, in judgment, in truth, in soul. 
we'll never forget him. I mean, he has left his mark, right? He so all that. we just have to do is look. That's right. And we'll, we'll see him. Um, he spoke to Sheriff about battling cancer. I'm sure you guys have heard that chat. I thought of just, you know, playing it to remind you of what his last few months was like. But he was, I, I hear he was, his spirit was so up. He his had such faith. So, Joyce, he had, when I watched this interview and listened to him, I just, for someone battling stage four prostate cancer, wrote to me, still had so high much. High spirits? He had high spirits. He still had so much knowledge to share. In fact, he spent the show talking to men about running tests, performing, you know, the prostate exam, not taking their health for granted, sharing useful information you know and it just sort of that just shows you the type of person that rutimi was so instead of focusing on his own battle yeah. rutimi spent you know time advocating for other people dealing with cancer discussing you know the uh, uh how they needed help you know still doing advocacy because he was quite A man the in the last days of his life that's right that's right you know rotimi still spent time on this uh in this uh, video praising the female oncologists that attended to him and t talking to african parents nigerian parents about why it's important to educate to give their the girl child quality education that was what wow. rotimi did on this show you know that wrote me spent time on this show still talking about what needed to be done in nigeria you know a very passionate individual he was a passionate man joyce he very was passionate, passionate about the development of nigeria in a way that was obvious wrote me wrote me spent much of his life abroad you know lived abroad for 20 years or more but came back to nigeria you know and did much advocacy just you know did a lot of advocacy and wouldn't he had the opportunity and he said it on the show he could have traveled abroad to seek you know uh, uh, greener pastures his mates did it not just that to seek uh, uh, uh health care for his cancer yeah he could, but he chose to stay in nigeria what faith really that, that was rude to me he stayed in, and he said it he had to stay in nigeria because he believed so much in what uh, 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 diaspora uh, uh, medical practitioners were doing. He said that, I mean, he, he, he was uh, grateful to have been at one of the best cancer centers set up by Nigerians and, you know, just to care for cancer patients in Nigeria. So he needed to be there. And that was where he met these two fantastic a female oncologist that he just couldn't stop talking about. He just couldn't stop. He just couldn't stop singing their praises. That was rude to me. Rotimi spent the last his last few moments still doing advocacy, still reaching out to people, still helping them, still ensuring you know mentoring them. That was Rotimi Sankori. So like that was him till death. Till death. That was Rotimi till death. It's like he can't he couldn't deny himself. That was Rotimi till yes. death. Yes. We're off on a break. We'll be right back. We hold very dear the memory of one of us, uh, the now late Rotimi Sankore. Um, I'm going to be reading a few messages because I yesterday I could not believe the messages that came in yesterday for Rotimi. Absolutely enormous. And so today I'd like to give a few moments to this conversation to just read a few of your messages. And of course, I guess you have condolences you'd like to share. We're going to go off on a break when we come back. The news update is next on Nigeria Info. My name is Joyce. After we share a moment... Speaking and thinking of Rotimi, we have to segue to discussing online trading for women. And then there's gist on our divorce series today. Apparently, the things women complain about that men do could be deliberate. Hmm. Hold on. It's not your info. We're talking. You know me. I'm talking. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. What makes radio the place to be? Well, that's because we start from here. Uh, this is a compound, not one, two or three, that somebody will come and say, I'm the only one coming in, in another one or two months. We'll see that that place is like a market. Yeah, from one person to two to three to four, you don't even know those who are living in that kind of compound. You cannot say, where do you work? I'll rather worry. I'll
Over here. Uh, I married my wife when she was very young, and now we have four children, and two has uh, finished university. They now hate me so much that I've, I've been cheating on her. I'm not happy with the marriage again. I don't have to love her, but she, the way she treats me is the way I like it because she insults me. She brings me to nothing, even in the front of my children. And time brings us here. People don't want to see what this government has done, and it's left for them. They want to be picking money on the street. They want government to be dashing money. Government is not for that Christmas. Government will only create the neighborhood. No, but the people, I don't think that's what the people want. We tell you who, want something that when, like where, and how it was said. Just 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 has commanded past and present leaders in the state. If you're planning to disturb the peace of Lagos State, please have a reading. Because police say they will not be your friend. Kwankoso urged the president to leave a legacy of free elections. Only on 99.3. Your station for talk. Listening to Open Thought on the Sunny Side with Joyce. Let's talk. The news update on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Ninety-nine point three Nigeria. Info. You're listening to the news update. This hour, the time is one o'clock. The Standards Organization of Nigeria says it is committed to boosting Nigeria's economic growth through standardization in the iron and steel industry. This reaction follows criticism from the Iron Rod and Steel Distributors Employers Union of Nigeria regarding the alleged SON inefficiency in preventing the circulation of substandard products. The SON director, Public Relations. Folusha Balaji says the organization has been proactive in ensuring that only products meeting required standards are allowed in the Nigerian market. She says the organization has stringent monitoring mechanisms to combat the proliferation of substandard iron rods and uh, steel products in the country. The SON rejects the notion that it has been lax in its regulatory duties as alleged by the Rod and Steel Distributors Employers Union of Nigeria. Meanwhile, starting from... 2025, the 7th of April will be observed as National Police Day. Uh, President Bola Tinubu, directed, uh, represented by Vice President Kashim Shetima, made this declaration during the maiden edition of the Nigeria Police Awards and Commendation Ceremony held in Abuja. He said that his administration had initiated wide-ranging reforms to revitalize the nation's police force since assuming office in 2023. He disclosed that the federal government had approved the first week of April as Police Week and the last day of the week as the National Police Day. While the Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps says they are working with the police to ensure pedestrian bridges across expressways are safe, Corps Marshal, Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps, retired Major Olani Cole, stated this on Nigeria Info's The Newsroom. Cole said the police are aiding uh, the, the dislodgement of miscreants, hawkers and other individuals who hang around the pedestrian bridges. And the 2024 National Common Entrance Examination into Federal, Uni uh, Federal Unity Colleges and the Entrance Examination into Federal Government Academy, Suleja, has been rescheduled. The National Common Entrance Examination was earlier scheduled to take place on the 20th of April, but will now be held on the 1st of June. A statement by the Acting Director, the Directorate of Information and Digital Communication of NECO, Aziz Sani, says the entrance examination for gifted and talented children into Federal Government Academy, Suleja, earlier scheduled on the 4th of May, will now take place on the 25th of May. According to the statement, the rescheduling of the two examinations was due to low enrollment of candidates. That's the news update, Lagos. I am Yvonne Ochaifo. You're listening to The Sunny Side with Joyce on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Stay here. You are listening to Open Thought on the Sunny Side with Joyce. Let's talk. The Sunny Side. We're 99.3. This is Nigeria Info. And. Yes, for the next few days, we'll be having moments where we get to feel and think and be silent in this thought of our colleague who now is late, passed on to glory. He'll never go to work ever again. He'll never lay with a woman. He'll never, well, I, I mean, I don't know if he has a lover today, but he'll never, he'll, he'll see his lover yonder. But, you know, physically in this realm, he'll never see her again here, but he will see her yonder. If he had one. 
And then you think about it. Did he ever know love? And, and you realize, well, life is this thing where your basket can sometimes be full, half full. Y- your basket may be full with questions, unanswered questions. But you see, going to the hospital, he'll never have to go to the hospital again. Um, he'll never have to feel pain in his body again. He'll never have to pay taxes. You'll never hear his voice again in person, in life. I mean, you'll play his videos. You'll remember the days you used to hear him on radio. You'll re- you recall the personality that you loved or were attracted to by the things he said, by the way he made you feel. He'll never walk the streets again. You'll never call him and he's the other person on the end of the line. Um, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He'll never eat food. He'll never touch you again. He'll never... If he was that friend, well, you'd never see your friend again. So this moment, we're trying to take... I'm taking your condolences message uh, or condolence messages. And please don't, don't make me cry. I Please, try. Well, you know I've got work. That's why. <laughs> don't, don't, don't make me cry. But I would love for you to say your knowing of this gentleman. You know, I wonder how much of what people are going to say really means anything. Hmm. Like, how much does it really mean? And to whom does it mean something to? Is it to us who are still alive? I really think death is a moment for silence. Death reminds you of your own mortality, of your own ordinariness. Because now you're going to call and say something. He may be listening, he may not be. But if we take it on a physical, if you thought he was a great man, why didn't you tell him while he was on radio? You see? Right. Today he's gone. Now you're telling me, how do I tell him that you thought he was a great guy? You never called him to say, wrote to me, thank you for just holding your light up. You remind me to hold up mine. Thank you for, for being a good example. Thank you for being a good dad. Thank you for being a good brother. Thank you for being a good lover. You, you didn't say it while he was alive. He's not here. And that is a culture I think needs to change. People should really give people their flowers while they're still here. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a cultural <laughs> thing, but mm. people don't know how to give compliments. I don't even know how to take compliments. Or perhaps see giving compliments as a sign of weakness or just showing affection really as a sign of weakness. But you know, you've uh, you raised a very important question. I don't know if it's a sign of weakness or it's a f- sign of... Because I don't think it's given flowers. If I said you were beautiful... I am not making you beautiful. That's you right. are mm-hmm. beautiful. If I didn't say you were beautiful, it doesn't take me saying it for it to be true. Right. So whether I say it or not, you are beautiful. And now that you have raised it, we're going to have to deal with that on the Lords of Logic. Because it's, why don't you only be language and interpretations? Like, what do you mean when you don't say it? Are you afraid that it's insecurity? <sighs> it's the fear that if I admit it, then maybe you are better than me. Right. But the problem is, it won't matter when they die. You know, it doesn't matter. That's where we are right now, right? You know, it doesn't matter when, when, when these people... If you didn't say it while parents, he was alive. Your, okay. your sisters, your siblings, your, your relatives who should know that you love them, but you don't make them aware. You don't tell them often. Yeah, because you, know. you were stingy with the truth. Exactly. You were holding back the truth. Because it's just a, it's you stating that if you say Rotimi was a good broadcaster... And you're not trying to lie. He's a good broadcaster, whether you say it or not. He's not a good broadcaster because you say it. So maybe now I'm also poking you to remember that wrote to me is mortal and so are you. That's right. And the best you can do is every moment with that opportunity that you have is give it your best. Give life your best. You are here to empty your soul. And love the people around you. Just love them. Well, okay. learn about love in the absence of you knowing how to right. love. You have to learn what love is just so that you know how to do it. Right. And if it makes you feel vulnerable, vulnerability is beautiful. Is beautiful. But I think the world interprets it, it interprets it as vulnerability. It's not. Do you understand it's how vul- human, really? Do you understand how much strength it would take 
for you to be vulnerable. I totally so the first thing we see is the vulnerability. We don't see the strength that it's... And the courage it takes to just That's admit. required. Yes. Yeah, because in the absence of that, you are lying or you are denying the truth. You are manipulating facts. Which is actually cowardice. And you are weak. So, yes, in the absence of that, you're a coward. That's right. You're weak when you don't say it, when you deny it, when you play it down, when you discard it. You are weak. So, would you rather be vulnerable and speak the truth than tell a lie and be known to be weak? Or Just at least because you're you, afraid. You know it to yourself. You're afraid, you're weak, you're a coward, you can't admit the truth. That's something your cat. That's a position your cats shouldn't be in. You're hiding the truth. Well, Rotimi is gone, so his life gives you a moment of reflection. Zero two zero one four six five seven one nine zero. Thank you all so much for being here. We're taking. I'm reading your condolences. Uh, your condolence messages. Welcome here. Yeah, Joyce, good afternoon. Thank you very much. So tell us your name real quick and give us your condolence message. We're just going to... Please uh, is my name. Thank you. Good quick. afternoon. Oh, yeah. Um, Nigerian factor of this country. Rotimi Sankore has been providing solutions, especially in the Northeast. Hello, Joyce. Hello? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Especially in the Northeast, Zamfara, all these states. Telling them what to do, insecurity, out of school children. Give us your condolence they, message, please, because we have a lot of people who want to share something. I know. Well, may you feel right in peace. And I condole with the Nigerian Info family as well. Thank you. It's a big lesson. Once the person go, then you start to hear praise. But when he was alive, nobody listened to him. The so-called leaders were a very bad and wicked set of people. That man has been preferring solution, but nobody listened to him. Thank you. May so rest. Thank you very much. I appreciate the sunny side. We're Nigeria Info. I have Vaughn with me in the studio with Hi, our colleague. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, this is Remy. Welcome, Remy. Thank you for calling. There was one thing Rotimi brought to journalism. Mm -hmm. He brought advocacy. Wow. Which is one kind of journalism. He was more centered around girl child education. Mm -hmm. um, out of school children, each time he's on air, you will see him hitting those two girl child getting education out of school children. And it comes with data each time. Even if, if only you debate with him, you can't beat do him because it comes with data. So the memory or what is living with someone like me is the those impact he made. The kind yeah. of the way he had his, the way he ran his own kind of journalism. Yeah. Was more he was more humanitarian. Okay. Each time he's on here, you as in you can tell this is this man is speaking from his heart. And I think there's this famous quote from Muhammad Ali. I think it, it, it spoke about uh, as in for what is a man? A man is his heart. A, a loving, um, a merciful loving heart is a, uh, is a merciful loving man. A lying cheating man is a lying cheating heart. There was a way he said it, mm. which was definitive. I think that was just wrote to me. Wrote to me was. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. Nigeria Info. Welcome to the show. You're on uh, on the sunny side. Your name and your condolence message. Can you hear me? I'm Hello? with you on Skype. I'm with you. Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Oh, for okay. Holiday. You didn't you didn't specify Skype, so I I was holding off. Oh sure. Uh, I would say another another week, another sad news, and well, I was sad when I heard it. Person, just like you uh, yourself, I didn't know him personally, but whenever I I could hear his name coming up occasionally on programs on uh, Nigeria and Info, mm. and I think I I also fall in in the same category as your mom. And I keep asking myself, and I think that's a question I, I'm going to ask God whenever I see him, because I, I keep wondering why are good people dying and very bad people that we pray, we wish, we beg for, for them to leave and they don't want to leave. And they are still here kicking and moving around with us. It just it just begs, begs to differ that I keep asking, I believe God is a God of order and there is there are no mistakes with him. Everything has a reason why it happens, because... It seems these past few weeks, lots of people are dying, even close, close to, close to, close to me, and I keep asking myself yeah. questions. Last week, I was listening to a message by Pastor Kinsley, and he uh, titled at all costs, and he talks about the futility of things that we humans, especially Nigerians, fight for. We want car, we want this, and nobody's talking about the more important things like soul winning, impact on people, and 
with what everybody has said, especially the crew at uh, the radio station, it shows how valuable uh, and how impactful he has been. May his soul rest in peace. And those around him, I uh, use this opportunity to send them my condolences. That he's uh, with every what everybody has said. I have, I like I said, I I I, I didn't have the opportunity to listen to him or Thank you. Uh, know him that much. But may he so rest in peace. And I don't know if it's something that Nigerian Ifo should do. I think they should try to do a little bit of compilation of his uh his shows on on the uh, YouTube oh, and yeah. at least let us know because I would want to know know him personally. Yeah. Even though I don't know him personally, I would want to know I totally know agree. about him and know about what what he what he he he's been doing. I Thank totally you. agree. Thank you very much for calling and giving us that idea. I really also wanted to do that myself, and now you've raised it. Yeah, we're in the same spirit. The Sony side. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, Joyce. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. Yeah, we have Emmanuel on the line. Real quick, Emmanuel. Thank you. Uh, I miss Ruthie. Me. For a few days, I, I mean, he was n- not on air. You know, I, I kept thinking, when will this man come back? But unfortunately, he's not going to come back again. You know, Ruth me was somebody who believed so much in education. Hmm. Uh, he, he suggested, you know, that uh, Nigeria will change if we keep killing terrorists, you know, because the terrorists are a product of an uh, uneducated environment. Uh, Ruth me said a lot of things, you know. I, I never missed his shoes. And uh, we've lost a, a talent and a think tank. If you put five Ruth me together, you know, they would do better than any economy, a uh, 50 man economic team the uh, presidency is putting together. You know, he's supposed to be, he, people like him are supposed to be think tank for government and not just think tank, the government implementing what they suggest. It's not only his family, you know, that has lost so much. Even me, I've lost so much because a lot of things I learned today, you know, are, are, are from people like Ruth. My mm. condolences to the listeners of Nigeria Info, Thank the family, you. you know, and the entire crew of Nigeria Info. Thank you. I appreciate it. This one goes, I never miss Friday program one day. There are just a few RS out there. Rotimi, I think. A few Rotimi Sankori is out there. I'll miss him. Uh, well, Vaughn is with me in the studio, so mm. she's going to be handling a few of the messages. That's uh, right. This one ahead. is from Achogba Solomon, who says, couldn't always wait for Friday evenings for Public Square. He wasn't just brilliant, but uh, so passionate to see Nigeria works. Uh, Nigeria work, rather. I was not happy when Rotimi Sankari's public square went off air at a point. Launched back briefly, but later went off completely. It is now clear it was on health grounds. What a loss. This one goes on to say, um, this is from Chris, listening from Accra. He says, Rotimi Sankari's rich acumen and deep knowledge are what I deeply appreciate and will surely miss. His Pan-African media outlook is worthy of reference and reckon. To me, I liken him to Professor Ali Mazuri. Uh, the realm and focus on African stories and news are legendary. Ever being a professor in media, Mr. Rotimi Sankore should earn one or be posthumously. Okay. This one goes, uh, I was a man, I enjoyed his... Uh uh, Rotimi Sankore was a man I enjoyed his analysis on the economic situation and his vast knowledge. Nigeria has lost a gem. I pray God to grant him internal, eternal rest in his kingdom and grant, uh, and grant his family uh, the strength to bear this irreplaceable loss. Thank you so, so much, uh, Damien. Let's go to telephone lines and I'll come right back to Vaughn with the messages. Hello, Nigeria Info. Hello, everyone. Hello, you're going to speak to us? Welcome. Tell us your yeah, name. Well, yeah, well, afternoon. Thank you. Well, afternoon. Well, afternoon. afternoon. Thank you. Tell us your name real yeah. quick and give us your condolence message. Yeah, I'm, I'm Sunday. I'm calling from Ikeja. Okay, thank you, Sunday. Go ahead real quick. Yeah. Uh, actually, when I heard about him, uh, it was quite a uh, very sad situation because, uh, let me say, he wrote to me a mentor and uh, mm-hmm. an icon. And is the preferrer, the person that Prefer when, he, when he speaks on a radio station, it serves as, as a sign to, to a, a kind of, even, I'm not even uh, speaking yet, but by the voice you listen to, the man that, you know that this guy has solutions. So it's unfortunate that we lose an icon like this. And uh, I'm very happy that we have such an icon from an and Nigeria in full a station like this, and uh, we prefer we pray that God will give us an icon like this again in the in your station by the power of Almighty, and uh, we wish Thank him you. all the best and his family, and uh, 
that's my piece of condolence. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for calling. The Sunny Side, good afternoon to you in Nigeria. Info, hello, so good to have you join the conversation. Tell hello, Jerry, good afternoon. Afternoon, thanks. This is Don Kali from Ajota. Good to have you. Yeah, uh, you see, one thing about life, we pretend a lot. Some people that are sending messages, some of them are pretense. They don't even know who this man is. But they just want to get, uh, particularize themselves as if they themselves, they want to get an audience all attention for once. Do you please. have a condolence message? Do you have message? a condolence message, please? Uh, no, I don't really know him. I shouldn't lie. Okay, so But okay. what I'm celebrating now is the voice from uh, uh, your sister there. You know, I've been celebrating you as a what? As a Nigeria idol, Nigeria info idol. Joyce. So, you know, this life, what we need in life is reflection. Like she has said, you see, if you keep away for your own kid alone, and uh, those people that need you, vulnerably, they needed you, but you were not there. Thank but you. But those people that you are really invested on, where are they? So they came and succeed, they left you. Thank but you. who around you that you neglected that time? You started. You see. You see the matter of life. It's very what. It's very complicated. Hello. Thank you very much for calling. Really, uh -huh. I appreciate. Don't... Thank you. I don't think it's complicated. I think we just need to understand it. Hello, Nigeria Info. Welcome. It's good to have you join the conversation. Remember to turn up the volume of your radio set. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah, this is Kinsley from Ikredu. Real quick, Kinsley. Thank you. Turn up the volume All of right. your radio set. I have done that. I have a secretary of it. Good. Real quick. Your condol uh, All condolences. right, my sister. Look to me, we always remain in our minds, in our hearts, in our life. He is a professor. That is what somebody said. He will give you history. He will tell you the facts. This is where you get it. He will even, if, uh, that's what Tukudi said yesterday, that if you want to talk to me, that you should plug your phone into Nepal light. If not, my your phone will go down, and that is him for you. He accommodates. He gave you whatever you need, no matter how angry you are. If you listen to Lotini, Lotini is Lotini. But that is what we cannot predict. Mm. If he comes this hour, it's all over. That is what is bigger than everybody. Thank but you. May his soul rest in peace. I appreciate and that. And Joyce, yeah. Joyce, I don't know. Why is it that you people, I don't know how you people pick your, your staff. Everybody is good. When Sandra left, we cried, and we brought Mary Miriam, and we are just, and you are there representing. In fact, I don't know how to, to in fact, uh, Nigeria is to make God bless your people. Thank you. Right. Look at Thank how you. we lost, not in everybody's crying. That is how Nigeria is being wired. May God bless, Thank bless you. your people. Thank you very You're much right. for calling. I appreciate. Uh, I'm going to read this one. Wrote to me was Mr. Data. So painful that he no longer is with us. My heart felt condolences to Nigeria Info his family and beloved fans. I'm going to come back to you, Vaughn. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're reading messages. We're lapping it up and we'll That's right. make it quick. Yes, yeah, Salary says, so sad to hear. I don't know when I, why I was, I didn't know when I was crying as I was typing this. I remember the last time he said he wouldn't be able to continue Public Square due to his battling cancer. A journalist to the core, well-rounded analyst. Three people cannot replace you. Referring to the late Rotomi. Wow. We lost the most valuable experience uh, uh, intelligence, a mentor, a man who's always valued child education. May your blessed soul rest in the bosom of God. My condolences to you all in Nigeria Info. Thank you very much. I used to look forward uh, to Public Square on Fridays with Rotimi Sankore and Agogo Obo, then Chukudi later. I didn't know he had health issues till Yvonne mentioned it yesterday. My oh. condolences to his family and loved ones. Wow. I was shocked when I saw the announcement from Wemimo Adewuni, Emma from Lagos with that one. Wow. Wow. Uh, please, Joy, since yesterday, I've been expecting uh, 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 at least a, a little voice note from Rotimi's past programs. Thanks. That's from Achoba again. I will, I will have that put up together. I mm. promise I will. All of us humans will pass one after the, uh, the other as no human is exempted from tasting death. We came one by one. We will leave one by one. It's a turn of root to me. No one knows who's next. May his soul rest in peace. My condolences to Nigeria Info uh, 99.3 family on this ir irreparable loss. Okay, I'm going to do uh, telephone lines right now. The sunny side. Good afternoon Thank to you. Hi, Joyce. Thank God I got you. I'm glad you're here. I've cried throughout yesterday. On my quiet time, I cried. 
really lost very humble, intelligent. I can't describe what he means. I'm correct. At first, I thought Nigeria if we could not pay him. That was why he went off air. So, I never knew he had health issues. I would have prayed for him as much as I could. But to God be the glory for everything that he has done. Ruth in me, and Corey made me understand something. No matter how many sheets your speech are, Ruth me can bring all your speech into number. He was a numbers guy. He was. Whatever you have written, whatever you have, you can write on earth. Ruth me will sum everything up to number. And he will just count it for you. And that's the end. <laughs> that's you are making up. Right so, I, I don't know. Is it that they can extract things from people before they die? Something like brain and just be recording at you were trying to tell me something about how chips go into people, and I don't know. Yes, I see that man is not supposed to die with that head. I'm telling you. So wait, you just want to remove his head and put his body in the ground, something like that? Yeah, so that we can be we can be using things from the brain, like those. Hey. Yeah. We lost. We lost a very home. We lost the brain. We lost somebody. Science so is important. already doing that. Joyce, just if I'm begging for something, if you can just do something, just. If it is 30 minutes, uh, his, his, his programs are usually one to two hours. But you can use one hour to just play one of his programs. And let's just read. I, 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 I totally agree. Well. I totally agree. I will. I will. I totally agree with that. I miss that man. I miss that man. He's so rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I don't think Nigeria Info can recover this one. I, I feel for somebody, one more person in that studio, the person he started at Gogobo, what would that man do to himself? Hmm. What would that Gogo Obu say to himself? Like, nothing is no more. Who is going to pass that information to him? Femi Obong Dane cannot dare tell that Gogo Obu is dead. Except that Gogo go to the house and confirm by himself. Because these are people that... It is. It is. Thank you. No, I, just, I appreciate you calling you. in. Thank you so much. Lagos, we're off on a break. We'll be right back. You're on the sunny side. We're really speaking on the memory of our now late uh, colleague, Rotemi Sankore. He's gone to glory. Indeed, I'm... Praying it is glory indeed. Um, humans say that he is or was a phenomenal human being. And here we are speaking of the ways we remember him. We'll be right back. My name's Joyce. You're on the sunny side. It's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Everyone says I'm beautiful and bold. They say I'm fashionable. And to crown it up, very confident. <laughs> and my secret is... People say I'm good looking, funny, hardworking, and to crown it up, very confident. And my secret is So, whether in the office or at home, in the streets or on the dance floor, anytime, any day, I, I never, never lose, lose my, my confidence. confidence. And the secret to my confidence is Wazobia perfume. Absolutely. Wazobia perfume gives the authenticity and long lasting fragrance all day. That's my secret confidence. Wazobia perfume is available in body spray. Also available in supermarkets and markets near you. You can also get it on Jumia. Wazobia Perfume, the correct scent. Dollar, shame me again. You know, fit. As a business owner, where I be, prices of goods they increase every minute. And you know, even day for Before I buy a market for my shop, they go say it don't increase. Hello, madam. Why don't increase? Share you see what they are talk. Now, until Clan Africa begins to supply my market, this one no be low, no. Then go supply my market or pay my supplier sharp, sharp before price go go up. I go begin to sell. They pay small, small. Now you see why dollar no be shame me. If you know what make you the worry say price go increase before you go buy your market, time don't reach. Make Clan Africa begin to supply your market or pay your supplier. But your message to us WhatsApp 90 or visit our website at www.clan.africa. With Clan Africa, you fit to get your market today. Make a dollar, not go shame you. <laughs> Back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We are back. We're back. On 99.3 Nigeria Info. You are listening to Open Thought on the Sunny Side with Joyce. Let's talk. 
You're listening to 99.3 Nigeria Info on the sunny side. My name's Joyce. It's 29 minutes past 1 p.m. And yes, the reason you can hear us is because you're alive, and so are we. And so this is what the living do. The living pursue money, talk politics, go to work, love their neighbor. Maybe in some, Or not. Or not. You know, hate your neighbor. Uh, the living... Good Lord, there's too much work for the living. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that much. I mean, if you make it simple. Life is simple if you make it. You could, well, yeah. You could decide to eat, sleep, wake up. What was exercise. that book again? Eat, sleep, travel. Is it? What was that movie? Eat, sleep, love. What was that? Uh, you, you're, you're it's, a, it's a rom-com. <laughs> yes, your taste in movies are very, very... Weird. No, not weird. I'm, Exotic, I remember, I would say. Okay, I was trying to remember a title. I know I watched a movie. Eat, lo- eat sleep, oh, travel. Maybe you're talking about sleep. Mamma Mia. Go again. No, Mamma Mia is one. Then there's this other one. I think that was the last great eat rom-com. Sleep, eat Sleep. Really? Yeah, that was the last great I rom-com. I rom-coms, actually. No, nah, I was going to say, that was, that, I think that was the last great rom-com I feel Meryl Streep made. She's she's brilliant. Uh-huh. Uh, a movie, Eat Sleep. <laughs> sleep and Wake Up. That would be the weirdest. That would be the weirdest title. Okay, guys. Yeah. Given that you're alive in the land of the living... Well, there's money we can share. Remember, money is only a <laughs> means to an end. But you win it still. And then the point is not the money. The point is what you do with it and how whatever you do with it makes you a better person. Real good. Well, the great majority of us will earn what we survive on. But you could be the exception. You could win this one and probably fritter it away. Out. It's, not fr- look, it's not frittering if you buy a good bottle of wine could be i mean it's if not. you had more pressing that would be frittering look you're going to die just drink a <laughs> why good do we always say that yo look it's raining today when is the rainy day it's been raining since you were born well the point of it is nobody will answer you if you retire to it anyways let's get to the part of you making the money first well earning no, winning the money first the process to that is pretty simple we've been doing this for nigh on a year now and we have winners running into the hundreds probably thousands at this point all you have to do is pick up your phone and dial star three four seven star eight eight zero hash let's say i was very 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 concise and slow with it because i want you to partake of the largest you could also go to the website at www dot no that's all dot 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 www.oneplay.ng and then make sure you are selecting nigeria info as your station do that and in a few seconds with 500 naira, of course because on both counts it will cost you 500 naira. um you will be in the draws be reminded there's a jackpot on fridays aside from the fact that you get to win every day yes winners emerge every day to the tune of two three four five six sometimes and you could be one in the number of people who walk away with the money from the jackpot. The pot is 500,000 naira large and you qualify for it by playing during the week. Your chances of winning are pretty much the same whether you play from www.oneplay.ng or you use the code star 347 star 80 star 3 hash. Play responsibly. Yes, play with only what you can afford because we are not trying to, you know, send you to... <coughs> that please and also make sure you are above the age of 18 that said one play is a registered trademark under lasho trading services limited licensed by the lagos state lotteries and gaming commission what are we waiting for just want you to win the money at least i mean i want you to so i remember the movie i'm trying to refer to it's eat pray love Eat, pray, love. Okay, that's more profound. Julia, that's Julia Roberts. You eat, you what pray. Was the last time she was in anything? I know she was in a movie. And you love. Something. She's made enough money for her grandkids. You think? She can ease up now. You think? How much do you think Pretty Woman earned her? I, you know, I never really checked those things. You didn't? No, no, no. That was a landmark movie. Well. And it was right up your alley. It was 1990 or 1991, I think. Okay. Okay. It's very, very much. Um, you should. You should. You should. Check you, what people, money people are making. No. The film. Okay. Okay. I should. But I You should. Why wouldn't you? I mean, I, mean, I don't woman. care. That's, I, Richard Gere. Legends. I don't even remember seeing the movie. Well, then jog your memory and do it again. Okay, okay. I could give you classics you could go watch. No, no, I'm broke. No, you're not broke. No, 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 no. (laughs) There's cheaper ways to do these things. I'm not encouraging that behavior, but there's ways to do it. I I mean, mean, there's there's Netflix. You could do that. You know, I'm not on Netflix. Why? I've never... 
Yeah, or but you like consuming your movies the old way. Yeah, so I would just like sit down, watch one movie because I have a life. I can't just sit down on Netflix. I know, but so do you buy box sets? Or I just uh, buy the. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Joyce, are you Someone trying to, sends are you, me movies. Are you trying to admit on national radio that you are one of the few I want people? Pirated version. No, no, not pirated. <laughs> no, no, I think I, I assure you, there's millions of people doing worse than what you are doing. I, I get sent movies. I, but, but my, I'm trying to establish something. I, are you one of the people who has a DVD at home? <laughs> are you that old? Actually, so first of all, mm. I've always had one. It's a surround system. Okay. It's a surround system, and of course, it has a, a surround system is adaptable to the yes. IoT. You know, so <clears> the thing is, I've, I don't want to replace it because it's good, right? Oh. It has a surround, it's still, but it's a surround system. So now, now I'm confirming that you are aging because old people like to stuff. N- no, what should I do? Throw it away? It's no, good. not throw it away. I know it works, but like join us to do what smart TVs. And, yeah, but I mean, I don't. I'm at that age now where if it's not. You like to feel and touch. I, I, no, I have other pleasures now. I have other things that really drink my money. Okay. Not just take. What are those things? Travel, perfumes, jewelry. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What are those? Joyce. I mean, I can understand travel. Perfumes. No, I'm a, I'm that's a, a little juvenile. Perfumes, juvenile? No, no, I mean, like that's something you should have, you would have gotten no. a hang of. No. In the, in no. the very beginning of. No. No, Yo. no. It's like I'm like I tell him to give up wine. I'm not never doing that. Yeah, obviously, you look like a connoisseur. So, so perfume. I'm into the craft. I'm into scents. Mm. I'm into. Are you the kind of person who would smell perfume and be like, mm, musk? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Dates. Mm. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Smells like the oasis of the Arabs. So I would. I would like to eat, sleep, drink. How do you people do scents? that? Scents make you exotic. And, and it's a costly. It's a very, very, very costly habit to <laughs> have. Very, very, very costly. <laughs> As I don't envy you people in that space. Like it's a very costly. So and I feel like people could finesse anything, could say anything, and people would be like, "Ooh, she looks so exotic." <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't. I'm not into sense for public opinion. I'm into sense. I know for you. clearly. I'm into sense for you. So you want to walk past and people are like, hmm, yeah, an Vaughn and I person. were talking about perfumes uh, a, a while ago today. And so I was telling her about my day perfume and my night perfume. Hey, you do. And she was like, "You it's wear a routine, eh?" Yeah, I have a day perfume and I have a night perfume. It's like, wait, you wear perfumes at night? Like, yeah, I wear perfumes at night. What do you? It's a bad. There's a part of me that wants just like, what? You want don't the spirits ask. to be like, mm, no, nice. no. So that's the thing. Uh, we don't want to come. With no, no, that's just the thing with my brain. Like, I like to wear perfumes to sleep. Mm. Does something for you? Doesn't do anything. It's just a habit. Just psychologically, I'm kind of set when I wear perfumes. To so bed. once you don't wear perfume, you feel incomplete. When I don't wear perfumes, w- what is wrong in the world? <laughs> 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 it's like if there were no more coffee. If I if I couldn't find coffee anymore, it's like we, okay, we so have to be at war. For so, the I, so, I've, so, I've, so I've, I've got a hang of a f- couple of things: co- okay. coffee, wine. I know somebody else who likes these things. Yeah, yeah, annoys so. me too. So I want people to win money and I want them to do something pleasurable because they're going to die soon. <laughs> well, one of the pleasurable things you could get a habit of doing is going to experiences like the one I'm about to drop on you. Get ready for an experience a day like no other. It is time for the 2024 edition of the Join the Cast Media Personalities versus Comedians Football Initiative. If you like to sweat, I know Joyce loves her workouts. And definitely, definitely, this will be something right up the alley. So you could help me. You, you know. could join in. <coughs> yes, yes. Less. Football is sport after all. Join us for a day of action-packed fun, football frenzy, and the community impact like never before. Picture this. Free healthcare services. Mm. Quite the galore. Uh, malaria testing and treatment. HIV voluntary screening and counseling blood sugar cholesterol bmi checks very important (laughs) a lot of people don't know that plus a bounty of free essentials including insecticides bed nets food drinks games and much more guess what we also have stars lined up for this event stars like alibaba frank edoho femi uh, and the gang, Aproko Dr. Josh, Too Funny, Mr. Hyena, yes, Prince, that guy, and many, many more. Save the date, Sunday, April the 21st, 2024, 
uh the venue is campos mini stadium inside lagos island you can't miss it you just ask campos and they'll send you there time is 11 a.m and the best part about this is that it is a free f-r-e-e-e-e-e free ladies and gentlemen and it is open to everyone all and sundry for more information contact irabo at 0816-929-3266 that is 0816-929-3266 let's unite and make healthcare accessible for all nigerians proudly supported by our amazing partners at cool fm wazobia fm nigeria info fm shal artem golden penny foods good night games finity and milo don't miss out on this epic event. Join the cast and make an absolute difference because you know you'd love it. It will be good for your soul. Well, you make money that you're being. I don't see it's money that makes me so good. Okay, different trigger. What? A different trigger. What? Yeah. That means I have different money. I just might pay for my leisure. That's all. Play hard. Play hard. What being soul? It's an easy soul. You're not feeding soul with pleasures. It, it's gonna dash. It's gonna make you a weak person. Okay. So what? What? What, what feeds your pleasure? What so because I know that you can stomach well. Um, sex is good because it makes them feel. I don't know what it does for them. No, uh, I I feel like the what you are trying to refer to is not radio worthy right now. Well, no, I can say sex. Why can't I say? No, that? not sex. Well, what? Yeah, the reason they do yeah, it, well, but you've, yeah. you've heard people say it because yeah, I've heard, I've, I've people, definitely people have. drink alcohol, for example, because it does. Well, those are those are not ways to enrich your mind or your soul. So my yes, soul indeed. is in, enriched by an immaterial form of resource. Hmm. Yeah. Immaterial. Yeah. Other things are just. Why do I feel like it has something to do with reading? Well, reading for sure. Music for sure. Praying mm. for sure. Purpose for sure, meaning for sure, light for sure, truth. Light, yeah, like literal light, sunlight. Light. No, not uh, literal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, was, I thought I heard light there. Light, I did say the light, light for the soul. It's light in your soul, mm. the light in the human soul. So everything you've said has to do with reading. No, not you're not gathering. listening. You always say I'm not listening, but I am. That's I just interpreted differently. That's the problem. You're not listening. And men who don't listen exhaust me. You no. see why I get tired of you? I actually do listen. And right. if you were exhausted by me, I feel like I'd know by now. You, you're just channeling a different sentiment. You're resisting my opinion. I'm not resisting I'm your tired opinion. of you already. No, I'm not resisting your opinion. You know what? We're done. I'm trying to wear you out. You're doing a good job. I'm uh, there. I'm, I'm there. So I've, how, I've always been told tomorrow, I have a talent for it. Tomorrow. I'll deal with you again tomorrow. Not today, I'm done It's with a good few today. minutes of <laughs> me being a rabble rouser in your studio. I enjoy this. It's quickly becoming a highlight of my day. Well, if I give you something, it's always my pleasure. You'd miss me. No, I wouldn't. When I'm gone. <laughs> You're going to miss me when I'm gone. That's the problem. I, I hope sound I like do. Darth Vader right now. I, I hope I do. You are going to miss me when I'm gone. I hope I do. <laughs> I hope I do. Thank you so I'm much. I'm out, guys. You are listening to Open Thought on the Sunny Side with Joyce. Let's talk. 99.3 Niger Info. Indeed, we just lost a rare gem, and that's the person of Rotimi Sankore. Sometimes we only get to hear from people without getting to know them in person. This bros was indeed an epitome of diverse knowledge with the people he was able to impact even when he had gone. May God rest his soul. Four, and this is me reading a message here. So this is a man who has benefited from the wealth of knowledge of Rotimi Sankori. He says, may God uh, rest his soul. Uh, he, you call him a statistical encyclopedia. I hope there'll be a way he would be immortalized. Well, if you, have, if you appreciate his existence, it's one sure way to immortalize him. It's in knowing that you accord to him what he is due, even in death. Then you have immortalized him. I'm grateful that I was privileged to listen to him. I see him as my radio lecturer. This is Murphy. Thank you. Joyce, uh, to me, was different thing. He was different things to different people. For me, he was a man who believes Nigeria can work again only if Nigerians and Nigerian government can do things differently. Every of his show, his spits, statistics, and facts to support 
all his sayings. My condolences to his family and to Nigeria Info family as well. Samuel from Lecky, I, I do appreciate your message and thank you so, so much. Uh, this one goes uh, Chukudi and Agogo as he would always sound on Public Square. The voices kept resounding in my ears while listening to him. Honestly, enthralled by his analysis, I wish to condole uh, with the Nigeria Info family. Uh, and loved ones who have dearly missed him wrote to me, I'm wishing you success and unmerited favor as you go back to give account of your life here on earth before the Supreme Court in heaven. This is uh, Chisco. Thank you very much for your message. I'm listening to him when he was alive. Or I think you meant you were listening to him while he was alive. The man with a lot of solution for the nation's problem. It's very interesting to know that many of you all agree that he had ideas and solution to the Nigerian problem. It must have been particularly as evident as his name is even to you. This one goes, Mr. Rotimi is a man of genuine interest or intent in all his analysis on radio. His The only reason I tuned in on Fridays, I was broken uh, when one of his sessions on radio, he mentioned having cancer. Thank you so much, Sam. This one goes, honestly, it's a hard loss and may his soul rest in perfect peace. I appreciate you say your station, Nigeria Info. Uh, sorry to hear about the loss of your colleague, uh, but God needs him more. My prayers go to his daughter, loved ones, his left behind. May God give him the f or give them the fortitude to bear the loss. This one is, um, well, I don't have a name here. You are a precious marble. Your sweet ambience is heavenly. Your presence is an angelic. Why didn't you send him this poetry while he was here? <laughs> Those that find you find a good thing. Those who look at you only see a precious and enviable paradise worthy of abode. Is this for a woman? Your beauty cannot be analyzed. People who have tried to... People who have tried to have not been able to do maximum justice to it. You are a rare gem. You are a precious marble, and no one can replace you. Rest in peace, Rotimi Sankore. That's particularly romantic, and I wish you gave it to him while he was here. <laughs> My condolences to all his family members and Nigeria Info. We just lost a big icon, an erudite and well-knowledgeable mentor. That's uh, Professor Rotimi Sankore. No wonder I didn't hear the program on Fridays again. How I wish Nigerian government will listen to all the data analysis and solutions provided and apply it to solve the economic and educational issues in the country. Thank you so much for your message. Um, he has gone forever. It's unfortunate that we cannot choose who to go and who to stay. My condolences to his family, Nigeria Info, and the country in general. May his precious soul rest in perfect peace. I do appreciate it. I'm going to go to telephone lines now. And uh, thank you so much for being here. And if you do not know the person of whom we speak of, I'm going to have uh, tomorrow, that is, I'll have uh, a few excerpts from his past shows played on the sunny side, just so that you can join in in the recall of a personality that many Nigerians hold to be clear, sophisticated, solid, erudite, knowledgeable, and kind. And that's the person of now late, Rotimi Sankore. Nigeria Info. Welcome to the show. Turn off the volume of your radio set. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Joyce. Good My name is Alcini. I'm calling from Ikeja. Good to have you. Thank you for being here. Ah, what a big love. Uh, I read it on uh, Facebook. I think uh, when anyone posted it and Uncle Jimmy reposted it on his page and since we are friends with Uncle Jimmy I read it on Friday evening and I was like oh my god Life little shows. wonder I was not you know at the point when I was not hearing the um, program again the uh, something square village square is it really or uh, you know I thought I was beginning to wonder where is, where is what's happening to this program what's happening to Agogo and uh, Mr. Sankore you know little did I know that he was ill but honestly, it's uh, like 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 someone said. In fact, I had it in my mind that he was what a living encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. He was very vast in his analysis, on, and then full of data. Also, you know, you could just. Uh, in fact, I, I I didn't know that he was even a staff of uh, uh, Nigerian Info. I thought he was an invited guest, and I'm like, oh, every Friday this invited guest is here. 
It was when he died when I read his profile that I knew that he was a staff of Nigerian Info. Honestly, my heart goes to all of you there in Nigerian Info and also to his family. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling. I appreciate it. When I do it in for you on the sunny side, it's Open Thought Tuesday. We have lost one of our own brilliant and bright-minded. Hello, Nigeria Info. It's good to have you here. Hello. Good to have you. Thank you very much. Yeah, good afternoon, Joyce. How are you? This is I'm Val. Good. Welcome, Val. Yeah. Um, um, first and foremost, we've uh, lost the region. Um, I think many of us have really forgotten its impact during the 2019 election, when they followed up the elections and all that. And from all those political issues and all that, they gave birth to that um, public square. Um, I don't know. Um, I, what I remember about him was data, information, um, policy, analysis on policies, recommendations, suggestions on developmental projects, policies, procedures, and all that that government needed to adopt at state level, at federal level, international level, and all that to bring about better development for our nation. It was all about adding value to the nation, all about building capacity and all that. I learned um, so much from him. Well, for right. life, we depart. We need to depart and we depart to meet. I think you have actually played your own role. You've added value to humanity and wherever you are, I pray you remain relevant. We we'll all meet you there someday um, and I pray that we also take our own turn to add value to humanity also. Mm. We have a reason for coming. You've actually played your own role. You have impacted many lives and many souls and I pray may you, uh, you be granted eternal rest and also your family and also for the Nigerian Info family. We really lost a great gem. So Thank all the you. best to all of you. Um, I appreciate you, you calling in. Thank you. The sunny side, so we'll do a few more, and then we have to segue to the to other com- uh, conversations I have lined up for today. Hello, the com- hello. The, the volume of your radio set. Yeah. Hello, lady. Hello, lady Jane. I can hear you. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for calling. I'm not going for my name from Spotlight. Good to have you here. Another sad day. Honestly, I've been trying to comport myself on what to say. No wonder. Uh, public square disappeared from the airways. It was a, a wizard of statistics. It was a phenomenal presenter. It was a research analyst that this country never made use of. Mm-hmm. It was a regent. It was a thoroughbred. Every time I hear him on the air. And I'm like, look, how do these people, how do they pick these people on Nigerian Info? How do they assemble this array of intellectuals? But today it's gone. And a lot of people have been calling in. Yes, it's gone. But its impact lives on. Mm. And um, I don't know what to say. Because uh, when, I had, when I heard this news, it was like a boat from the blue. It hit me like a thunderbolt. Because he's listening to that man anchoring public square you could not help but you know i'm sorry i'm going to be a little bit comical when the obedient movement started and p2b was reading out statistics it reminded me of routine and Corey. he was something else he was phenomenal mm-hmm. and today he's gone well i i lack enough words to express how i feel yeah all i can say is that may he still rest in peace and mm-hmm. um from the deepest recesses of my heart, I want to wish his family, friends, Nigerian Info, and listener all the condolences that I can give. Once again, it reminds us of why we are here on earth. All these have been said in his, said in his absence. He's not here today, but look at all the wonderful things that have been said. We do want to ask ourselves, when we're gone, what will people say about us? It's about what you leave behind, the impact you have made in the lives of people. Rotimi Sankore was such a man that listening to him alone, you cannot help but understand that the problems in this country are no rocket science. His in-depth analysis of issues reveals and betrays his passion and patriotism. He was somebody who had an undiluted belief in the country called Nigeria. He felt that this country could work if only the right things could be done. And once again, he just left this world. O F, O death, where is thy sting? No one has said that the richest place in this world is the cemetery. It is only in the cemetery that you find resources, you find rare gems, you find precious pearls. Thank you. And I've left this earth. 
Oh, Rotimi Sankore, we're going to miss you. Yeah. See you Thank long. you very Thank much you. for calling. I appreciate Someone is asking, are you guys sure Rotimi is gone? <laughs> How about we wait a few more days to confirm? We could be lucky to have him still alive. Yeah, I know how that feels. You want to wait for a miracle. You want to hope that the story is not what it's said to be. Thank you for your message. Um, I usually get fatigued from listening to radio after 4 p.m., but on Fridays, as soon as Joyce stops her show on Thursdays, Friday used to be boring, and that led me to listening to Public Square. He was good at his work. Wow. Wow. Uh, thank you very much. My condolences to his family and colleagues. Rotimi Sankore on his transition to higher glory. Rotimi is the reason why I first tuned into Nigeria Info in 2017. He, his knowledgeable and analysis of development and world affairs is astounding. This is uh, from Tony saying, rest in peace. I'm going to go to telephone lines. Uh, and then, yeah, there's much work to be done today. The sunny side, good afternoon to you. Thank you. You have to be... Turn off the volume of your radio set, please, and then real quick tell us your name. Sorry. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm with you, please. Uh, go ahead. Tell us your name uh, and go ahead with your condolence yes. message. Jonathan is very much. Fantastic. Let me, let me just stand on my yesterday's condolence, which I've been talking yesterday. But I want to remember something again. You know, I didn't know that man was challenged until that interview he did with Sherry. See, even in his challenge, he was very generous because I listened to that interview that day. Mm-hmm. And he was dishing out tips, tips, tips that people can use. Even in his own challenge. And I feel very, very, that day was a very pain to discover that he was facing challenge. But I didn't know before that day. So it's a great loss, just like I wrote on the Mosquita, Nigeria. I've lost a great mind. And that was my comment from three, four days back. Thank you. So very, much. very sad situation. I wish everybody well. And I, I feel just to condone ourselves with this loss, with great loss. Thank you. Thank you very yes, much for calling. I appreciate it. Ugo Choku from Ota is saying, I heard about Rotimi. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you so, so much for your message. Um, we think we've read the message from Chris from Accra. I remember Vaughn read it. Uh, this one goes, uh, hold on, let me read this one. Late friend introduced me to Rotimi's program on Fridays. I later developed interest in listening to him every Friday evening. He spoke on radio as a man of knowledge and conviction. May his soul rest in peace. Our final call uh, for today on this uh, conversation. Hello? You'll be my final caller real quick. Sorry, I lost you. If you would, make it back. Hello, Nigeria Info, the Sony side. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you very much for calling. Sister, Rotimi Sankore is an enigma. He's a philosopher. And he gave Nigeria uh, government templates and a manifesto. For example, look at what Oth is doing in other states. I know that Oth was listening to Rotimi. That's why he's implementing what he said. But he's very, very unfortunate. And the death is a natural and universal phenomenon. And we surely only miss him. Okay. And uh, the person that is calling to Mr. Kore, Professor, March 2022. They call him August 2022, Professor. Are you me? Thank you. So as, he was, uh, as I was one year in the first, let's take the two with you. Uh, I can't uh, answer. From. So anybody that is, is not listening to you and the uh, phone, uh, you have to know for what you said about Mr. Kore. The person, the person miss. Thank you. I wish the whole world had what to say with the phone for one hour today. Thank you. So people that I know, there's some people that doesn't appreciate or, or help somebody. Maybe it is his sensitivity or his greediness or his naivety or his jealousiness. Yes, I know many people that out of me. What's the problem? People that ask of me for Facebook. But because we have been talking, talking, so they, me and the road, road to me gave template. I don't know how to go better. Pass well with the Jabba. Thank they you. They don't want to listen. I go first. Thank you very don't much, Rudy. We Thank don't you. talk, talk, talk. Don't go. You want to know you. You want to know you. Thank you. Know it's okay. I'm Thank back. you. Thank you so, so much for calling, Rudy. Really. I appreciate it. Lagos, uh, we're off on a break. We're on the verge of a... Uh, a new point on the clock. It's about a few seconds away from 2 p.m. And on the other side of the hour, I want to talk about women in technology, particularly online trading. Well, that's not tech, 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 but you kind of get the idea. Women in uh, online trading. 
uh, I want to open up a conversation around that, maybe even begin something around that. Uh, and hopefully time allows us to further the conversation today on the sunny side. My name's Joyce. I'll be right back. 99.3 Nigeria Info, working to bring you up to speed on today's event. How do we get everybody on board? How do we convince people that COVID is you, that COVID is not a scam? We have prominent Nigerians that have died from this COVID, and government have come out to say individual, that individual died from COVID. So why are people not believing that? Why would we lie? When you just eat Gary a lot without adding other things, okay. you can have problems in the eyes. And then when Gary isn't properly processed. Your number one station for talk. Station for talk. Let's talk. The headline news on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info here are the headlines. Federal government rescues over a thousand kidnapped victims without ransom payment. President Balatina would declare April 7th National Police Day, while federal government expresses confidence in new citizens' delivery. Nigeria Air Force eliminates terrorist kingpins Ali Dawood Bakura, Faluda, and 30 others in Lake Chad. The Nigerian Navy assists in putting off massive inferno at popular UTC shopping plaza in Garki Abuja. While Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission said Nigeria's crude oil reserves rose from 36.96 billion barrels to 37.5 billion barrels within a year. Standard Organization of Nigeria denies laxity in its uh, regulatory duties, promises positive interventions on steel sector to boost competitiveness. 50,901 drug offenders, including 46 barons, arrested by National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in past 38 months. Police launch manhunt for Abiola's widow, Dupe Onitiri Abiola, over invasion of Oyo State Government Secretariat in Ibadan. Delta State Government prohibits actors traveling on its water bodies without putting on life jackets. Israel calls for sanctions on Iran's missile project, while Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, again warns Israel against counterattack. Australian police declare stabbing, stabbing at Sydney Church, a religiously motivated terrorist attack, and flooding caused by heavy rains kill up to 50 people. In Afghanistan, those are the headlines. This is The Sunny Side with Joyce. I am Yvonne Ohaifo, and you're listening to 99.3 Nigeria Info. Stay with us. There are mysteries to the universe we were never meant to solve. But who we are and why we are here are not among them. And so, we do not leave to chance our duty to think. For why else then are we free beings? For it is slaves who run into fantasies, flatteries, and fads as one goes into sickness. What is your profession? Go now, run along and tell your Xerxes he faces free men here, not slaves. Dread it, run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. You are listening to Open Thought on the Sunny Side with Joyce. Let's talk. You know, uh, so over the weekend, I was contemplating a number of things, as I always do. <laughs> and then I kind of landed on um, women in the tech world. But first, out of curiosity, I want to ask whether men notice or maybe women 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates.